video llega a ustedes gracias a nuestros patrones, especialmente Belki, Emilio, Joel, Edgar y Niño. ¡Hola, Minionatics! Bienvenidos a... Minyeo TV Con sus anfitrionas favoritas Las hermanas gemelas Sol Y Luna Y hoy es miércoles Miércoles de cultura Finally, oh my god I've been waiting for a miércoles de cultura So much because I love Cultural videos guys So keep recommending them in the comment section Continue please Yes <laughs> Today we're gonna react to a video that won a poll. That video is a brief history, history of Philippine Spanish. <laughs> yes, guys, every week in our community tab we have polls and we have our calendar. So go check it, go check it. Do not miss our post in the community tab. You can vote for the video that you want to be featured in the week. And I'm pretty sure there is a poll going on right now so go ahead and vote go vote <laughs> exactly nice. uh guys um uh, what else do i have to say i think that's soon our channel. soon on our channel <laughs> soon on our channel we're gonna be reacting to esmina team talks about what is an interview that they did for gma mm -hmm. gma digital special so if you don't want to miss that Subscribe to this channel, activate the bell so you don't miss the notification for that video and many others. Also, when we reach 30,000 subscribers, we're gonna have a, a live Q&A. &A. Don't miss out. <laughs> Share this channel with more, so more people subscribe and get interested in our content. We also have a second channel. It's a gaming channel, Mindeo Games. Please go shake and subscribe. Please support us. And uh, we have our Facebook page, which is Mindeo TV Games, and we stream once a week. So if you want to play with us, you can go ahead and follow us. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Without further ado, let's, let's check the brief. Me. History of Philippine Spanish. It is very, very brief. Yeah, <laughs> because it's only three minutes long. Let's see what we learned today. In the 1600s, Spanish was the language of government, education, and trade throughout the Philippines. Mm -hmm. However, in a study done by the Instituto Cervantes of Manila in 2010, it was found out that a mere 1% of Filipinos spoke Spanish. So what happened to Philippine Spanish? Where have the Filipino native speakers of Spanish gone to? As far as I know, the Spanish speakers died because yeah, of the war, like when Japan... I think it was Japan's fault. Oh my god, don't say that! <laughs> Don't That's what I understand. read. Like they, they threw a bomb to the Intramuros mm. and mostly of them died. But let me see if this video can re-educate me. In the late 1800s, a Catipanero and lawyer by the name of Don Luciano de la Rosa conducted a study. And he found out that around 60% of the Filipino population during his time spoke Spanish as wow. a second language. Wow, 60%, that's a that's really a high number. Especially because Philippines is very, like, populated. It's very big. Thank you very much. <laughs> in comparison, around 10% of Filipinos spoke it as a first language in a North American census. Wow. Both of these numbers, however, went downhill due to a series of wars, among other things. One of which is the war between the First Philippine Republic and the United States of America, mm -hmm. where, according to historian James Goodnow, around one-sixth of the Filipino population, or around 1.5 million Filipinos died in the hands of the new colonizers, most of which were the brightest of Filipinos who were familiar with the concepts of independence and freedom, and most of which were Spanish-speaking. World War II also dealt a severe blow to the Spanish language in the Philippines. With it came the death of millions of Filipinos, many of whom are Spanish-speaking. In the Battle of Manila, 
over 100,000 people died, either by the Japanese Manila massacre or by the American air bombing of Manila. Wow. Oh, so, so it was American Japanese. Air bombing. Yeah, and also I read somewhere that when Americans uh, sitiated, I don't know if this is the correct way to say in English because uh, speaking English I'm thinking time. in Spanish. Cuando los americanos sitiaron las Filipinas, mm -hmm. they prohibited Spanish and they said sí. like, why are your documents and your official things are in Spanish? They're this is going to be banished and banned and, and we are going to uh, like, they started teaching English. Yeah, and Americans are everywhere. allergic to hearing another language that, that is, is not, not English. English. I'm Even sorry in their to the Americans that are watching our up. channel, but you but know that is true. Yeah. Even in your own country, if you hear someone speaking another language that is not English, you are a speak English. You, you are, are in America. America. <laughs> and also, by the way, <laughs> and as a curious uh, fact, America don't have an official language. No, they so don't. So it's because it's a, like there's a lot of cultures there, so they didn't want to isolate, isolate Anyone. people. So they didn't include like an official language is English. So you can speak whatever the fuck you want in America, and nobody has to give a fuck about whatever the fuck you do. And I hope you fucking understand it by now. Thank you. <laughs> that was Luna's rant. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's, let's continue. continue. <laughs> this is all the Philippines. It's not about the United States. And my head for followed. 90% of Spanish owned buildings and institutions were destroyed. And Intramuros wow. and Armida were the hardest hit, thus dismantling the heart of Hispanic life in Manila. Intramuros in Armida. The United Armita. States oh effectively winning three wars on Philippine territory during its Philippine occupation. English was imposed as the language of the people. Oh my god, look, they were forced to have this time. Yeah, because they don't look happy. They don't look happy at all. Like, I speak English. <sighs> I feel... And ultimately, Spanish was left behind. Aside from those wars, the educational system continued by the Americans, although commendable in its own right was also a factor in the fall of the Spanish language in the Philippines. This was then made worse as parts of its curriculum interlaced with the Spanish black legend, thus proving to be a breeding ground for Hispanophobia among Filipinos and resulting to the conditioning of unconscious biases Filipinos have against the Spanish language. Wow. Furthermore, but I've heard like a lot of people now want to learn Spanish. Yeah, a lot of people in our comment section. Yeah, a lot of I know, know, they, they always say, I want to comment. learn Spanish. Not only I in our comment section, but there's like a lot of Facebook group uh, dedicated to Filipinos that want to learn Spanish. And they do meetings too, like uh, learning Spanish and talking to uh, Spanish native speakers mm -hmm. in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Right now, the, those meetings are not held because of the pandemic but usually they did that so yeah like right now the generation the new generation is like wanting to learn the language different because, languages yeah it's general. interesting and also they can even get their jobs when they speak spanish but yeah he is absolutely right there are some filipinos that they have like this i wouldn't call it hate you know but I don't know. Like whenever they hear a person speaking Spanish, they feel some hurt. And yeah, yeah. And uh, we Spain. have seen it Spain. also in, in <laughs> <laughs> we have seen it in our comment section. Like when we try to pronounce something with our Spanish accent, they were they're like, you know, like I don't know. They're full of hate. <laughs> some people. <laughs> But whatever, uh, we understand the connections between yeah, because, Spain and between... But following that logic, like if you're going to hate everybody that colonized you, then you will hate Japan and America, and Filipinos have a great relationship with Japan and America. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because Spain just abandoned the countries they colonized. Fíjate, our Latin American countries, even though we have like good relationships with Spain, like they, they don't even give anything to us, like no aporta al comercio, mm -hmm. and they don't actually care about us, and are general the prejuicios about us. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, I could have nice you once, but now I don't want to be associated yeah. with yeah. you. Yeah, uh-huh. oh, you speak Spanish. Your Spanish is not real Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 people from other nationalities are going to hate me so much in this video. <laughs> <laughs> but fight with me in the comments. I love it when you give me hate in the comments because you are very invested in it and it increases the engagement of this channel. Oh, wow. <laughs> Luna, what is going on with you today? <laughs> I drank coffee, to be honest. <laughs> That's why Let's I cannot drink continue. coffee. Let's continue. Let's continue. Social and political changes in the 70s and 80s also saw the removal of Spanish as an official and instructional language. Spanish today is only spoken by a minority in the Philippines. However, there is a renewed interest in the language and its future seems hopeful. As bright as it may seem though, at the end of the day, it will all depend on the Filipinos, especially to those Filipinos who, according to the words of Manuel Quezon, have the wisdom and patriotism of preserving the Spanish language. Mm-hmm. I wonder what people in the comment section are yes. saying. I, I guess there's gonna be Filipinos there. It was Spanish that united the Catipunero Revolucionarios. If Dr. Mm-hmm. Rizal wrote his novelas in pure Tagalog, then they had not been understood by the Ilocanos, Capampangans, Bilocanos, Hiligayans, Hiligayans, Suarez, etc. He could have written in Tagalog, but he did not because Espanol, as his first choice, was understood all over the country. Oh, I wish they don't remove the Spanish subject. You see, there's people who still want to mm-hmm. learn Spanish. Remember Spain, the, the first, first territories in the Philippines. Wow, why nobody is talking about Chabacano in here? When the Americans <laughs> came to the Philippines, they killed many Hispanic Filipinos that can speak Spanish and replace English. That's the, re- that's the, the, the summary, summary of, of the, the brief part of the brief history. The like brief, brief of the brief. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. I wish they would put Spanish language back and not Korean or some shit. Sure. Wow. They are teaching Koreans in I this school? I didn't know that. Why? Why? Like the Why? Corazon Aquino administration abolished the, the Spanish, Spanish subject in the 90s. And I'm a Filipino with whole, with a quarter Spanish, Spanish blood and I want to know how to speak Spanish Spanish. Spanish. as it were the language that was it's spoken of by my Lola, 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 but English was the main factor now. Oh, let me see the reply to them. You may learn speaking with your Lola and Lola that they're still alive. If not, first Instituto de Cervantes, very good. Duolingo, very bad. Duolingo is not very good. Very, más o menos. Depende del canal que tú <laughs> I don't recommend Duolingo because they translate everything and your brain records the translation to your first language, not the language that you are learning. So it doesn't work for me. So yeah, basically we learned, we, I learned a lot, a lot and this was it. very interesting. I would like to know more. So if you know more similar videos that you can recommend, please send them in the, the comments. comments. And here's another video that is recommended by, by YouTube algorithm, algorithm, especially for you. So click on it right, right now. now.